Hi everyone, we all know that our life is full of all kinds of dangers. Of course, we try not to think too much about it to avoid getting depressed, but something can go wrong at any minute. A drunk driver behind the wheel, a lurking maniac, a large sharp icicle on the roof, and even cardiac arrest are all simple, understandable, and very obvious reasons to fear for your own life. However, you will be surprised to learn how many times you put yourself at risk without even knowing it, because there are many hidden dangers that actually pose a rather serious threat to your life. And today, we'll talk about them. Cinnamon A few years ago, there was a viral internet food challenge called the Cinnamon Challenge. Perhaps some of you already forgot what it was about, so let's refresh your memory. The objective of the challenge is to film oneself eating a spoonful of ground cinnamon without drinking water. It was simply impossible to complete the challenge, so some people began to cough, spit out cinnamon dust, <laughs> and make funny and sometimes even scary faces. And while the majority entertained themselves by watching these videos, informed people most likely shuddered in horror. Because what might look like a harmless challenge actually poses a serious threat to life. Did you know that in 2012 alone, American poison control centers received over 100 phone calls as a result of the cinnamon challenge? Thirsty people required qualified medical aid. This is because cinnamon dust that got into the lungs can do serious damage. For people with allergies, chronic lung disease or asthma, this challenge can even be the last in their life. It's too easy to suffocate, and so cinnamon deserved a mention in our video. Unknown Plants an attempt to calculate the exact number of plants that can harm a person in one way or another is likely to result in a fail. You definitely don't have enough fingers on your hands and toes on your feet. Even 10 people don't have enough fingers and toes to count all the dangerous plants. There are many types of grass, bushes, flowers, and trees that can harm you. They're scattered around the world, and that's why we strongly recommend to avoid touching, tearing, or otherwise interacting with plants that you know nothing about, even if they are very beautiful. Let's take a look at some examples. This is giant hogweed, which has an interesting property. Its juice contains toxic substances. If they get on your skin and interact with the sun rays, they can cause serious painful burns. <laughs> this plant has charming lilac flowers that would look gorgeous in a vase, but do not let the aconite deceive you with its looks. All its parts, from berries to leaves and roots, are extremely toxic. So toxic that they can even kill you. This bush is especially dangerous. It looks like a harmless laurel. Its leaves add flavor to food. Wow. In fact, this is a cherry laurel, and the seeds, leaves, and bark of this plant contain poisonous cyanide. Belladonna, dotteras, common laburnum, even such a popular flower as a daffodil, the list goes on. We won't mention them all in this video, but please stay away from unfamiliar plants. The Panamanian Golden Frog we tend to think that all dangerous and truly deadly creatures on the planet should be large, have sharp claws, and a set of powerful teeth. Indeed, there are enough predators on Earth, but this is too obvious a danger that's not of any interest to us right now. But this tiny frog that's only 4 centimeters long is a different thing. We won't be surprised if you don't find it intimidating seeing it in the rainforest. We can even understand if some of you might think this creature with bright yellow skin and black dots is quite cute. However, we have a good reason why we added it to the list. The fact is that the frog's body, from the legs to the tip of the nose, is covered with a toxic substance. This is how it protects itself from predators. However, it can be dangerous to humans, too. Coastal Waters the vast majority of people think a beach is a place for relaxing and enjoying the sound of waves, azure water, and white sand. And although this image may look very appealing, don't forget about the dangers that lie there. The first thing that comes to mind is, of course, sharks. In some places, you can really encounter these sea creatures, but the most dangerous factor is the water. Each month, rip currents kill several people. This is because people either do not know they exist or do not take the risk seriously. We believe it's worth learning from other people's mistakes. So what are the rip currents? The waves that we see and that crawl to the shore over and over again are the incoming tides, and it's only logical that there's a place where waves should form. The problem is that the outgoing tides create strong currents, with speed reaching 3 meters per second. Second. A 
person who gets into such a current is dragged too far away from the coast into the open ocean. The number, as well as the strength of riptides, is determined by the underwater topography, shore level, and many other factors. So please, before you go swimming, check whether the waters are safe. You can ask the lifeguards or Google this information. Plastic Dishes we could make a long, detailed presentation about how harmful plastic is for our planet and why you should cut down on it. However, almost everyone knows about these obvious issues. We'll focus on a less popular topic, how plastic affects the human body. Surely, you've heard that all the packaging and containers made of plastic have a different composition. The production technology depends on how and where the finished product will be used. For example, there's a type of plastic that should never come into contact with food at all. That's because it releases harmful toxins. Other plastic products are only safe if they are used for storing cold things. If hot food gets inside a container made of such plastic, or even even worse, the container is heated, then it pollutes food with substances harmful to humans. Storage of food and drinks in plastic is a very controversial matter. For example, there's a study that proved people who regularly drink water from plastic bottles pollute their body with bisphenol A. And while some scientists do not see anything bad about it, others claim this substance affects the hormonal balance and can promote the development of diabetes, obesity, and cancer. In short, the more you read on this issue, the more depressed you get. So here's a tip for you. Be more cautious about plastic that comes in contact with your food. All containers and packages have markings that show which plastic they're made of, so you can study this information and choose the safe option. Sponges and now we're going to tell you something that will probably turn your world upside down, and you will change your attitude on kitchen chores. Sponges are unique tools designed to make dishes perfectly clean. However, a couple of years ago, studies showed sponges are the carriers of harmful bacteria. One week after active use, entire colonies of microbes form in the pores of sponges. High humidity and constant contact with food create an ideal environment for the growth of bacteria. Healthy people shouldn't be too concerned about it. But if your immune system is weak, the sponge may cause the disease. It's not clear what to do with this issue. In the meantime, you can just try replacing the sponge as often as possible. Warming up the car if you live in a place with low air temperature and own a car, you should pay attention to this segment of the video. Warming up the car is a process required to heat the engine and various technical fluids to a temperature optimal for driving. There's only one catch. During this process, the car emits carbon dioxide. If your car is in an open place, then there's nothing to worry about. But if it's parked in a closed garage, then there is a risk of poisoning and even death. The main danger of carbon dioxide is that although it's very deadly, it has no smell or color. A person can feel safe, and then he suddenly faints and never regains consciousness. Sometimes even open garage doors do not help. Wind blowing in the wrong direction can prevent carbon dioxide from escaping. Q-tips You've probably heard of this recommendation. Well, if not, it might surprise you. Take a package of Q-tips right now and read what is written in small font. You will see something like, do not insert in the ear. Yep, you read that right. Q-tips are not designed to clean the ears. Moreover, by using them, you can even hurt yourself. The fact is that the tip does not clean the ear canal, but rather pushes the sulfur deeper. Sulfur, in turn, can hurt the eardrum, causing infection and even hearing problems. And here's another thing you didn't know, you don't need to clean your ears at all. Sulfur protects the ear canal, and its excess is pushed outside when we chew. Ooh, a neat self-cleaning system. A dead whale. If you're walking along the beach and suddenly see a dead whale, don't get too close to it. No, the giant sea creature is not going to suddenly come to life, roll over, and crush careless onlookers. That's somewhat unlikely. The danger lies elsewhere. A whale can literally explode. Why? Oh, it's simple. The decomposing of a dead body is a natural process that leads to the buildup of gases. Since the whale is large, a lot of gas is accumulated inside the dead animal. For some time, tight skin prevents it from escaping. However, careless handling or natural processes can lead to a sudden explosion. Well, this is it for today. See you soon!